Brexit has offered a UK fisherman the chance to revive lowest of its historic herring fishery, which had been all but destroyed by EU red tape and overfishing. Martin Yorworth, 49, is hoping to capitalise on new larger quotas allowed for British vessels in the trade and cooperation deal signed earlier this year. He said, there's a lot of fish. They're very plentiful, and if you do something with them, it's worth a lot of money. If we can divert that into fishing communities, how the fishing industry used to be, rather than one big ship catching it all, canning it all, earning a fortune, lots of little businesses operating canneries. Speaking to The Telegraph, Mr. Yorwood added, there's enough money there, and a good enough stock, to regenerate whole towns. After all, Lois Toft was built on herring. Separately, French President Emmanuel Macron has been tipped to step up his bitter feud with Brexit Britain ahead of the French presidential election in April 2022. Mr Macron has this month accused the UK of failing to keep its word on Brexit and fishing licences, saying in a press conference, the problem with the British government is that it does not do what it says. With France set to take on the EU's rotating presidency on January 1, there are concerns the bloc will become hostile towards Britain as Mr Macron has warned he will take his own national measures against the UK if not supported by Europe. The Telegraph's Europe editor James Crisp claimed Mr Macron may find it hard to resist the temptation to bash the Brits, especially as relations are in a sorry state after the row on fishing licences and the AUKUS submarine pact.